All right, now that you have your photos from your Photoshop taken, I'm just going to run through a few basic steps of editing your photos. And you will need to edit each one of your photos a little bit. Um, as you go through this class, you're going to learn a lot more ways to edit a photo. We're just going to go over some of the basics. So here's a photo. I'm going to say just pulled it from the internet. Um, but I'm going to go over a few things. Obviously, I want to crop it. It has a border. Um, but I also just want to crop it to make it more interesting, more focused on the focal point here. Your crop tool is your fifth one down on the side here. Looks like this. So I select my crop tool. Now, if I am in the unconstrained mode up here, I can pull in from this side and it'll change the shape, and this side independently from one another. If I constrain it, let's say I want it to be a 4 by 3 constraint, it's a rectangular shape, then even if I pull in from the side, the, um, the other way will change also. Okay, so and when you click and drag your picture, you're not dragging this box, you're dragging the picture, which can be confusing at first. Now let's say your picture needs to be straightened. Like this picture, if you look at the the line of the grass, it's at an angle. And if I want to straighten that up, and you might have that kind of thing happen in your photo too, all I need to do is move my cursor off the corner here until it turns into that bent arrow. And then I can shift it and straighten it until it looks straight to me. And the grid appears to help you line things up. So I've kind of looked at where this line lined up, this line and that line. And I think that works. And so I need to pay attention because then you can get corners of the photo um, not showing up like you want. So you gotta pay attention to that. But, all right, there we go. I think this is a good um, composition. This follows the rule of thirds more so. Um, the rule of thirds is when you put a grid like this over top of a picture. Um, it says that it's going to be more interesting if you put the focal points in one of these corners where these lines cross. And if you have horizontal elements, that you put them along one of these horizontal lines. And same with the vertical lines. So I have my horizon line pretty close to this um, line. And then the vertical tree is close to this line. And then you got this barn as a focal point centered pretty much around this point here. So I like my crop. I'm going to right click and go crop looks good to me, um, except for I might have cut off a bit of the corner there, so I'm going to pull that in a little bit. Okay, now the next basic thing we're going to do is an adjustment layer. Now you can go under image and you can make adjustments right here. The problem with doing this is then these adjustments will go right on your photo. Um, but if you add an adjustment layer, then it's completely editable later still. So if I click the levels, we're going to start with levels, this panel will pop up, and you can see it's made a new layer for me to go over top of the picture. Now, a lot of times levels are going to look like mountains. Um, you might have kind of a flat area and then a mountain and then a flat area. If that's the case, you want to drag your right and left sliders in to the where the, those mountains start. The bottom is in tops of those mountains. Um, I don't have that too much, but what happens when I drag this one in, this dark one makes my darks darker, and the light one, this makes my lights lighter. And then the one in the middle, if you drag it to the left, or to the right, it'll make the mid-tones darker. To the left, it'll make the mid-tones lighter. So generally you want to pull both of the sides in a little bit, because that will improve the contrast. Making the lights lighter and the darks darker will improve the contrast. So play around with it till you think it looks right, and then you have that levels layer there. A um, few other things, you can work with the brightness and contrast if you want to, but that's basically what we were doing with more control in the levels, because this will just brighten up everything or darken everything, whereas we had a little more control. Contrast is just brights brighter, darks darker. So. Um, you can do a hue and saturation. If you want to improve the saturation a little bit, that'll just make make the colors more saturated. We don't want to go that far. Let this look realistic. Or you can take saturation away and make it a black and white photo. I'll just increase the saturation a tiny bit here, since it looks like it was a cloudy day. You can work with the color balance. Say you want to bring those reds in the grass out a little bit more. You can drag the reds a little bit. Um, 
or the blues in the skies, you want to go the other way, make it look like a cooler scene, you can work with that. Um, and if you want to experiment with these other adjustments, go right ahead. I'm going to show you one more thing I want you to do, and it's actually a filter. So take your layer one, your the layer that has your photo on it, or it might be your background, and drag and make a copy of that layer, because we don't want to work directly on the original layer in case we make a mistake. Works better to use layers. Go under Filter, Sharpen, and go to Unsharp Mask. Okay. Now you can tell if you uncheck and check the preview mark, what it does, and I'll show you the extreme, is it sharpens the edges of everything. So it goes, this looks really blurry in comparison to how sharp this is. Obviously this looks also unrealistic, so we're just going to check the preview again and increase the sharpness a little bit and just experiment with the different sliders, what happens with it and the kind of effect you like. But don't go too far with it, you want it to still look realistic. This is just to improve the overall quality of the picture a little bit. Okay, so those are some of my basic editing tips. You can go ahead and save this picture as a JPEG. And then to make life easier on yourself for your contact sheet, just keep this photo open and um, edit all of your photos and keep them open here in Photoshop.